Crawford or Spence? Uh, I don't know. That's hard to say, man. You know, I think uh, Crawford. I, I, I would go for Crawford, Crawford though. I, I like Bye now. Guy, but... Ain't nobody, Bye ain't, now. Ain't nobody never asked me. You gave it two seconds. What about the Yank? Everybody know Crawford will knock that boy out. Man, Kenny Spence can't, he can't spell fight. <laughs> He's, no, one, he's, he's one of the best I, pop up out ten scrub. I'm being real with you. Spence is number I'm being real with you. Fight somebody, son. He fights everybody, Spence. You, he's, you, be, you be on everybody's jack, don't you? You be on everybody's jack strap, don't you? you I keep it 100. You can't uh, help it, man. You just can't help it, man. God <laughs> damn. Ooh. I'm going to do the reporter, man. You're a jack strap. <laughs> <laughs> All I said was my opinion. Man, fuck your opinion. Shouts out to two Detroit legends right there. Tommy the Hit Man Hearns and James Lights Out Tony. Now, what James Tony said about Errol Spence, you know, that's something that a lot of people agree with, and that's how a lot of people feel. Why do I put people like James Tony up front? Because, you know, people on the sidelines, including me and myself, we are the people on the sidelines. We are the people that's outside. To me, it always means much more when you get somebody of that profession to talk about somebody in that profession. Okay? And a lot of people have said it. It's no secret that Terrence Crawford beats Errol Spence. It's no secret. Okay? It's no secret at all. This is why I keep telling people. Errol Spence cannot determine how great Terrence Crawford is. He needs to be searching for something else. And as far as Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, let me be the first to say it and tell y'all that fight is dead. It's dead. Leave it alone. It's not in his itinerary. They're not going to do that with Errol Spence. One of the main jobs of your promoter, your matchmaker, is to match you up with people that they know and believe that you can beat, okay? They don't believe Errol Spence can beat Terrence Bud Crawford. Therefore, he will go nowhere near Terrence Bud Crawford until, and even if he does, it'll be the tail end of his career. Errol Spence never had any plans of fighting Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? For Earl Spence fanboys, not fans who get into their feelings, this is something that I'm going to keep knocking on your door and leaving on your doorstep. You can say what you want about Earl Spence being this big, bad, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, what I'm going to tell you right now is facts. Terrence Bud Crawford got that man to stop calling himself the boogeyman of the division. Don't you ever forget that because prior to to Earl Spence running into Terrence Crawford at that fight at that stadium or wherever they was at he was saying he's the boogeyman of the division okay right after that confrontation between Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol Spence notice that Errol Spence did not call himself the boogeyman one day after that day it ended that day he never said it again them is facts them is facts to add on top of that, the man who he currently got a fight with now, Duck Terrence Crawford, okay? Everybody knows Manny Pacquiao didn't want no parts of Manny, uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao didn't want no parts of Terrence Bud Crawford. People were also saying Manny Pacquiao was too old to fight a Terrence Bud Crawford. None of that stuff comes up into play when you hear about an Earl Spence. As a matter of fact, and it's not just me. Several other people are leaning towards Manny Pacquiao. I believe Manny Pacquiao can beat Errol Spence. It's not far-fetched at all. It's really not. Manny Pacquiao can beat Errol Spence. Errol Spence is not all that. Decent fighter, but that's all he is, is a decent fighter. To me, Errol Spence is a C-plus, B-minus level fighter. You know, but really just C plus, and I'm a little hesitant to give him that. And that's not, that's not hate. That's my true opinion of my observation of his skill set. I don't know why y'all get so lost in Errol Spence. Y'all let them Floyd Mayweather sparring rumors 
you know, y'all took that and ran with it, which I'm kind to, I'm leaning towards that that was engineered because that's the only thing that got attention around his name. It's not for his fights. It's not for nothing that he did inside the ring. Errol Spence hype and clout came from outside of the ring via Mayweather black eye rumor. Those are facts. You can't deny it. All those are facts. All right. But as far as Terrence Bud Crawford versus Errol Spence, it's dead. It's not going to happen. I look for Terrence Bud Crawford fighting a Josh Taylor, you know what I'm saying, and, and doing that. You know, you know what I'm saying, whoever's there. But I don't look at Errol Spence. It's clear to see what Errol Spence is doing. And after Errol Spence get Manny Pacquiao up under his belt, if he wins, he ain't going nowhere near Terrence Bud Crawford because he don't got to. He doesn't have to. Not at all. And, and you know what? I'm no longer knocking him for the way that he's going about his career. Because if I knock him for not fighting Terrence Bud Crawford really hard, then I also got to knock Terrence Bud Crawford for not pursuing the fight as hard as I would like him to. Seriously. You know? So, so with that being said, each his own. Crawford looks comfortable where he's at. He don't look to be squirming or even give a shit. Same thing with Errol Spence. He don't seem to be squirming or even give a shit. So why am I going to put more energy and care about these two mixing it up? And these two are getting paid off of mixing it up. I'm not. We're not. So let them go ahead and do what they're going to do. But that fight is dead. But James Tony just told y'all with most boxing experts, most people who know the game can assess fights, can assess styles, will tell you. Terrence Bud Crawford beats the shit out of Errol Spence. But we'll never see it. So there's no point of us arguing back and forth. We'll never see it. But if we ever do see it, Terrence Bud Crawford will beat the shit out of Errol Spence. Flat-footed Errol Spence. It's just the facts at the end of the day. You know? And I like what James Tony said about Ellie Setback. Ellie Setback. Ellie setback will blow whichever way the wind blows. You know what I'm saying? He does a lot of ass kissing. And low key, Ellie setback be doing a lot of subliminal shit. He does a whole lot of subliminal shit. You'll catch it in his titles in the video he put out. But for those that know, they know. But he be doing a lot of subliminal shit low key. You know what I'm saying? But he really. Ellie setback ain't shit. But that's James Lights Out Tony. You can't talk about that man. You can't say shit about him. Yeah, there ain't nothing you could try to do because you know what certain kind of Errol Spence fanboys do. You know what I'm saying? They'll turn against anybody, you know, who has their own opinion about Errol Spence. So I'll take it. James Tony is probably the next to get kicked out of the the black race. You know, uh, leave it up to these fight fans because that's how y'all work out here. Fight fans is one of the most weirdest fans out there, like I gotta tell you. But I'm pretty sure he's next on the list. They probably gonna sit him right next to Andre Ward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's just my thoughts on the shit. Bruce Van, I'm out.